Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm back with some lessons now. <clears throat> anyway, I thank you for your prayers, you guys. And I want to ask you a question. <clears throat> if somebody is talking to you in public, or private for that matter, and you are trying to get a point across to them, but while they're doing it, they sound like they're flattering you and patronizing you because they want to uh, give you the proverbial pat on the head. Good doggy. Now just behave, cooperate, and we can get through this ordeal as peacefully as possible. Thank you. Well, see, that's annoying because that insults one's intelligence, does it not? Well, this is what I don't want this to sound insulting. <clears throat> I tend to have a rough edge when I'm trying to make a point, and I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. But I even have to watch myself. When I praise God, am I buttering him up? Am I buttering my bread? Or am I giving him a sincere hug? Am I patronizing and insulting his intelligence so I can get on his good side and he'll do what I want him to do? Dance to my tune? Or do I really mean it? Whatever it is I'm saying. When you tell God you love him, when you say God is good, when you say hallelujah, glory to God, praise Jehovah, oh God, I love you, I thank you. Is it heartfelt or do you have a hidden agenda behind the compliment, behind the praise? Give me that man, Lord, oh, I praise you, Lord, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, give me that man, Lord. Mm. Or are you looking at, oh, give me that business deal, I got to have the business deal. Oh, praise you, Lord, praise, oh yeah, glory to God. Why do we praise God? I think it's a good thing to ask because sometimes we as born-again Christians can treat God as a sugar daddy. And there are times I even say when I'm praising God, Lord, even if my heart isn't genuine, please accept it because in my mind I think I'm being genuine. But I know the heart, as your Bible says, is deceitfully wicked. Who can know it? which means we really don't always know the intentions of our own hearts, but God does. Something to think about when we praise him, isn't it? 